Hello. Now, let us talk about followership. You see, to make a good leader, you must first be a good follower. Everyone early in his or her life needs the sponsor of a superior. In terms of cash, you need somebody to take care of you. The superior may start out being your dad, mom, uncle, aunt, grandma, guardian, whoever. And as you grow to start your career, you will need a teacher, master, mentor, leader, priest or pastor, whatsoever, but you need a superior. That is, before you can command, you must first learn to obey. Never employ a subordinate who has not learned to obey, no matter how competent. Never, especially if that subordinate is competent. You must grow through the ranks. Before you lobby for a position, ask yourself, have you been on ground? If they call you at any time, can you fall out? Have you been available? Have you made sacrifices for people? Now, when your superior calls, come running. When he gets angry, you chill. When he laughs, you smile at the very least. Now, what am I saying? When you are in a subordinate position, you behave like a subordinate. But don't raise suspicion by being excessively polite to foolishness. Rebel when it is necessary, especially if taken for granted. Independence has its roots, mainly in stubbornness. If you want to be independent, then you must develop some level of stubbornness. Be truthfully loyal, but ensure that you know your onions. That's my point. Now, when meeting with your boss or superior, speak when spoken to and straight to the point. Otherwise, stand quiet. If asked for additional information on a subject, provide it if you have it, but only if it's asked for or is extremely vital. Don't begin to start discussions with your boss. Your boss cannot be sitting on the bench and you come to sit right beside him. No respect. Maintain good relationship with your mentor. Always associate with those better than you. No task your leader will give to you should be too hard for you to undertake. Your leader is important to your future. And you must show him that you understand and appreciate that. You must show him respect because sooner it will get to your turn and you will reap what you've sold. Leaders or bosses have authority and power, which is what you want. It doesn't matter how they got it or whether they deserve it. They have influence and they'll use their influence for you if you do their work diligently. If the superior you report to is a moron, do not sell him out. He will do that himself. He may not always be right, but for now, he's your superior. If the man you report to is capable, follow his lead, support him, allow him protect, support, finance, and carry you. And please, leave his women alone. Wife, mistress, daughters, nieces, cousins, maids, secretaries, whatever. If you are married to your boss's daughter or close relative or associate, then you are very lucky because bosses are very jealous and possessive. They want to have them all. Now, be sure you understand what your boss has ordered before you act on his command. Don't do what you are not told. Learn the art of asking questions. It is always necessary. Remember, all bosses started at the bottom before they became giants. He who would have the fruit must first climb. Be loyal. As a child, be obedient to your parents. Honor thy father and mother. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 to 3. Respect and acknowledge them. They gave life to you and nurtured you. As a student, realize that your teacher is your teacher, not your friend. Listen attentively to them and be teachable. Do not become a Mr. know it all. Imbibe all these things that I've just said to you. Until I come your way next time, remain blessed.